Hi guys, this is Bill from Spencer1984.com with another update to the Last of Us Chevy S10 pickup. Overall, I think I'm making pretty good progress with it. I'm pretty happy with how most of it's coming out. Uh, taking a look at the chassis first here. We've got all of the painting and pretty much all of the weathering done on it. I'm not trying to go for a used but generally well-maintained look. Take a closer look at it. You see I've got some rust on the exhaust pipes. A couple of pieces that I had to modify. I made this pipe right here and the end of the drive shaft so that they could go the extra length that was needed. I also modified the gas tank because that originally had a kick up for the cab being further forward. So I had to cut that off a little bit later. But that fits in there pretty well now. Got the stock spare tire and shock absorbers in there. And you know, overall, I think that looks pretty decent. For a combined promo and model kit, I think that'll work out okay. And taking a look at the wheels, I'm going to be using the stock front axle. Just drop that right through. Okay. And I'm just going to lightly push this other wheel on so it'll stay there. That'll be the front axle, and then for the rear, I cut off the center mount tube so that it was flush with the edge of the tire, and then drilled out that hole a little bit so it would fit over the plastic axle ends. And it's a little bit of a sloppy fit, but that's okay. Uh, once I glue it, that'll be able to set up like it's supposed to. Get the second one on here. And have kind of a quasi-rolling chassis now. I don't want to glue them on permanent until I've got the box in place so I can verify the width. But uh, moving on to the interior, I got some new headrests here. I think they were out of an old Ford Explorer kit. Not 100% sure, but they're pretty close to what we saw in the show. So I think those will work out fine. Just kind of a generic late 90s, early 2000s style headrest. Yeah, I'm not going to guarantee they're the exact style from the show, but I think it gets the right overall feel. So, those are looking pretty good. And then the last thing to talk about is the body. And if you've ever done body work like this, you probably know that first coat of primer is both a blessing and a curse. Uh, it's really nice to see all the colors tied together so it looks like one piece but it also shows every crack, pinhole, and lump that you thought you had cleaned up. Not that it's terrible. Uh, you see I have a little more cleanup to do on the side windows here. Got a pinhole there that I had to fill in. A little bit of cleanup down here where the original trim was. Same up here in front of the door. Got to clean up a spot here at the top of the door and back here where the two pieces come together. A couple more pinholes in the roof. We gotta sand those smooth. We got this other side window basically squared up and looking okay, but more pinholes and pretty good size crack there at the bottom that I needed to fix. The door seams don't look too bad on this side, but I still have some of the old trim that I need to sand off at the front of that front door. So yeah, it, it's Going to need a bit more sanding, a bit more shaping before this is ready for paint. I am pretty happy with the roof line though. That's a nice smooth curve to it, which uh, a lot of times grafting roofs you'll end up with a weird divot in the middle. But on this one, actually looks pretty okay. And finally, bring out the box. And like the cab, it's coming along okay. The character lines are actually about what I wanted. You can see it a little easier on this side, just because of how the light is. You can see that's just got that real faint dimple just above the wheel. And you can sort of see it on this side as well. But I still have a few more pinholes to clean up on that before that's ready for paint. And got to do a little more cleanup down here where the old trim was. And on this side, about the same. Got to sand those a bit better. But overall, I think this is coming along okay. Now, looking at where I am and where I need to be on it, uh, 
The body is pretty close. If these last few pinholes clean up like I'm hoping they will, and I get the last bits of the old trim sanded smooth, uh, get the box cleaned up, this will be ready for paint in the next couple of days. I do still need to add the fender flares here, and I need to add the grab rail to the dashboard. I don't think I'm going to have this done for the next week update. I think I'm going to need a little bit more time and probably have this wrapped up for the November 3rd update. So I'll technically miss Halloween, but not by much. But I will have another update next week, so you can check back then, and thanks for watching.